Hello and welcome to another segment of Game Reviews and today we are doing High on Life, the makers of Rick and Morty. So let's dive into this. So if you haven't played the game or haven't watched it or whatever, here is a little spoiler alert for you. So let's dive right into the rabbit hole, shall we? So here we are starting off with a gamer with inside of a game, you know, uh, you know, just like any other gamer and stuff, probably 21 or 18. I, I don't know, though, but um, the banter here in the beginning is pretty funny and stuff. Um, you know, you're just playing along for a bit and, uh, you know, just like any other gamer, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so your parents are gone for a while and, you know, they're like, oh, we love you and stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, you know, like not really too much that you need to worry about and stuff though, but you know, they are worried like, oh, we're going to do with your life though. But your planet gets attacked by aliens called the G3 cartel and stuff. Uh, they kidnap humans and they find out that they can get high off of you, like smoking weed and stuff. Look at that. Who would have guessed? So, uh, his lieutenants right there decided to kill this guy that showed you where the humans are and stuff. Uh, kind of similar to your very first gun. Uh, he, his name is Kenny. Uh, he helps you along and everything. Uh, you know, like, like, you don't understand him at first, though, but he helps you understand. Uh, but, yeah, he practically saves your home, uh, and you end up in a brand new world uh, in a brand new city called Blimp City. Uh, there's just a lot of stores, there are a lot of places to discover, a lot of treasures to look out for, uh, little, little shops and stuff, uh, and along that way, you get like you get to see the, all the TV and stuff you overhear, and you know it's pretty fun. Like I like it. And you find Gene, uh, who you're trying to find at first to help you um, bounty hunt and stuff, though. But he lost his leg, so he helps you become a bounty hunter and gives you helpful things to do. He gives you a suit and all that, gets you started, helps you find a Tarkin knife, little knifey right here. He is so funny. I loved using him throughout the whole game and stuff. Like he just loves to stab. Uh, you know, it's like, and he becomes part of the gang, so he's, like, it's not just the guns that talk and everything, he talks too, and it's pretty funny and stuff, like, I think he kind of steals the show a bit, though, but, um, you know, uh, you know, Knifey can also get you out of places and into places and stuff, which is very helpful. Let's show you the others after this kill. And let's do it! So... Kenny right here can use globs right here that can project your enemies up in the air. You can keep shooting them. You can get away. You can use a slow-mo right here to decide what you want to do and stuff to help you. Maybe you need to run. Maybe you just want to shoot every single one of them in the air if you can get them shots and all that. You know, that's what I did, but I also shot the tanks like I did here and stuff. Uh, the enemies aren't too repetitive coming out and stuff. Um, I think it's just perfect with the gameplay. You know, the, the game is relatively easy to me, so that I had a real fun time. I had an even funner time with all this shit right here. With the, all the trippy stuff. And I, I guess I shouldn't expect it any less from the makers of Rick and Morty. Um, you know, because like, hell, the, their stuff's like out of the out of this earth sometimes. And uh, using Creature right here was fun. You know, shooting all the uh, minions right there. His little baby sucks uh, health out of him and stuff. And he's really good for crowd control and for bosses. So I wouldn't say he's like the best gun though. But he's one of the most helpful ones I would say. And you know he's kind of like he's very funny. He's very lighthearted, And I really liked using him and stuff though. But once in a while I just like to go around. And just kept shooting every single one of them and stuff. Like I could not get enough of his little children. Uh... Gus is cool. He's a shotgun that can suck in and shoot saws and can help you get into other little places just like the other guns can do. And Sweezy right here can stop time. Uh, it can stop cars. It can stop fans. It can stop enemies and everything. You can shoot the bubble and everything to expand the bubble. Uh, she's very good with the banter. And after a while, you can stick, stick on the walls right here that are metal. And, you know, the, with the flying enemy, she's really useful. Let's Do It is really, really good for crowd control and bosses, too. So, like, I had a good time, though. But you only get to use them for one level. Hope for DLC, right? Uh, throughout the game and everything, you gotta save humans and send them back to the human haven because you can't send them back to Earth, you know, that, that place is wrecked, so, you know, that's what you gotta do. And the movies that they put on here, I'm surprised that they got Denise Richards, so, I was just like, fuck yeah, man, I'm gonna get my popcorn and get going. Look at me, oh my 
God, I laughed, I cried, I had so much fun. It was just, like, my favorite part was probably the tiger part, and oh my god, I could not get enough of that. I was like, I was like, what the hell shit is this? Especially with the T-Rex arms, who, who couldn't get enough of that? The, the shop's very useful and everything to be able to help you upgrade your guns and everything, um, you know, to earn money and everything and buy more stuff. Let's hope we can get more money in DLC. But let me show you this. Dude, don't do this to me, Kenny. What? Thank you for giving me the adventure don't do this to me, Kenny. Now what? shove me deep inside that monster slug's dirty asshole. Kenny. I want to do this. I, I need to do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Kenny's the one who brought this. <laughs> So, spoiler alert again, just like I said in the beginning. At the very end, you can decide who to pick to shoving Gargantuan's ass and everything. Like, I'm not going to spoil everything, though, but the banter between all of the guns were fucking hilarious. Because Kenny decides that he needs to sh be shoved in there to blow him up and stuff. And, like, you could, sh you could literally shove any of the guns in there though it's just like when you shove the other ones they're like whoa whoa what the hell are you doing you know <laughs> it's like i need to make phone calls i need to do whatever man it's like i need to i need to tell my wife i love her i need to call out for work or whatever uh with all the banters uh creatures is more just like you know he's surprised he's like i can't believe Caddy's gonna do that hey wait a minute why did you switch to me you know, okay, and like creature is like just so innocent. It's just it's hilarious when you switch to him because when you switch because like you can hear a second banter. Like I kind of wish all the all the actors just kept going with it because this was gold. But after that, uh, when you beat the game, uh, you get over here to a little teaser for possibly for a second game or some DLCs. I'm guessing a second one, you know, you know, that's how they do games, though. But, ah, uh, man, like, what can I say? Um, the glitches weren't too bad, though. The chair one, I was like, what? And I kind of died from, like, the platforms right here, though. So, you know, you can't blame me for, you know, you know, showing that, though. But there was the door glitches, and, like, I didn't have time for that, though. But this still gives an 8 out of 10, man. Like, I really like this game because, like, it was very funny. And honestly, I feel like this is, like, a really good Christmas gift. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm so glad that it's actually on xbox game pass and that's how i got it and stuff so if you already have xbox game pass you got an xbox one or x you know you, know, like you can probably get an xbox x series and stuff well like if well you should though and like you can just play the game you know just play it for yourself though but you know uh so i think it deserves an 8 out of 10 like there was the glitches kind of like got me off a little bit though but like i didn't want to like take it down like too much though but with all the funny stuff and like and everything that they added in there though i still think an 8 out of 10 is just great for the game though but yeah man what can i say i hope you all have a good one man so uh Keep on playing some games out there, man. Tell me what you think about this video or tell me what you think about the game. Uh, just again, you know, it's just a spoiler alert for this video and stuff, though. But if you watched the whole video and you already played the game, I appreciate you watching. So uh, you all have a good one out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Come hit that like and subscribe. Come take a look at the new merch shop and everything. Got some mugs. Yeah, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want you know just hell come join the discord got a facebook group come join me on twitter everything that uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below so uh thanks for coming man